We are here at the Sanibel Community Center, and this is Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Pam. <laughs> and tell us what you're going to talk about. We're going to talk about dipping your shell in muriatic and water, muriatic acid and water solution to get rid of the white calcification on the outside of the shell. And that process brings out the true color of the shell. Okay, let's look at the shells. These are already done. Mm -hmm. She just did these. And they're still wet from it too. Yep. <laughs> and look at that. Look how beautiful that is. This is, this is Oh, show, show us that one. Oh, my goodness. What you do with the muriatic acid? You want to mix it in a glass jar. I use a Miracle Whip jar with a plastic lid. One quarter cup of acid to three quarter cups of water. Okay. That's your solution. You dip your shell. I use a pair of hemostats mm -hmm. to dip them in the acid. And then immediately after you've dipped it, I usually count to three. One, two, three. Then I take it out and immediately plunge it in fresh water. Swirl it around and then lay it out to dry. Um, there is a word of caution. Don't ever do this in a stainless steel sink. If you have a stainless steel sink at home in your kitchen or your laundry room, you get the acid on that. Even though it's weakened, it will turn black. And you oh. cannot get it off. So we recommend doing it either in an enamel sink or in a plastic dish pan outside or whatever. Um, if you happen to get some on your hand, just rinse it with cool water and you'll be fine. Wow. And that's all there is to it. Thank you, Mary. Okay, I'm going to try the muriatic acid on these shells. As you can see, they're not, they're beautiful, but the color has completely been changed by that white surface color. I'm going to use, so let's take a look at them all. Even that rose murex has got that calcium cover on it. Okay, now, and I'm going to use little tongs. Let's go ahead and do the big guy first. She said one, two, three, and immediately dip in water. Whoops, sorry. Let that dry. Let's do one of these guys. Okay, before. One, two, three. And, and into the fresh. Now that is a big difference. Wow. Look at that. I need to get that little barnacle off, but that will uh, that will clean up really nicely. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Out and then into the fresh water. is awfully pretty too. I didn't see a huge difference on that one. Let's try this little guy. Let's look at him first. Okay. One, two, three. Maybe I didn't hold that on the one in bit long enough. Oh yeah, I can already tell a difference in that one. Look at that. Into the fresh water. can see can see that let's see if the color lasts 
Let's do that Rose Murex now. One, two, three. You can see it bubbling in there. Into the fresh water. Ooh, wow. That's a huge difference right there. I still see some little spots on there, but maybe uh, I can get the pick to get that off. Let's do this one again. Oh my gosh. Okay, before. One, two, three. Wow. And immediately into the fresh water. Wowie. Now look at that guy. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that shell. All right, let's try. Let's try this one next. Okay, before. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's a big difference in that one too. Apple Murex. One, two, look at that bubbling. Three. Woo! You see the difference in that one. Wow. That's a big difference. Okay, and the lace murex before one, two, three. Oh, my gosh, that that is pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. And there they all are. Let me get them closer together. Ooh, that's pretty. I guess I can touch it now. That is unbelievable. That one didn't change. That one didn't change much right here. That one did. That and that guy. Ooh, there we go. That'll clean up our shells really nicely, I think. Thank you, Mary.